My name is Xavier, and welcome back to the peaceful, happy, fun time, dwarf loving town. Ooh, a raccoon! Yoink! Uh, in any event, before I got distracted, we have a mission, and the mission is rename Giant Border One. Thank you very much to Philip with the most upvoted comment by far with the suggestion of Atlas. There's actually a ton of awesome names in that um, in that comment section. I could probably make an entire fleet. Hey, pig, get your face out of the microphone, you dopey cat. Uh, I could probably make an entire fleet of borders just from the names in this section. However, I think uh, these are the founding original ones, so presuming they survive, I think what we'll do is just have all the rest of them be patrons, as I had uh, anticipated before. Also, a couple of the things. So I've got a static install of the Dwarf campaign now, so it should be impervious to bugs. I did have a couple of weird bugs where I couldn't go into draft mode, but for whatever reason, that's gone now. And I had a weird bug where people weren't moving. They were just like stuck. I'm not sure what that was about, but that's also gone. So hopefully those have just fixed themselves. And then lastly, for one final time, I tested uh, the difference between recruit and reduce resistance. And they are indeed identical. There's no difference whatsoever uh, in training time. So whoever said that, it, maybe they were either wrong or it just became like a really popular thing. Or maybe there was a bug at some point that made it faster when it wasn't supposed to be. I don't know. Maybe it was intentional and it got changed. Either way, uh, as of now, they're exactly the same speed like I've been saying for a while now. Just wanted to reconfirm before the episode because I'm still getting comments about that. Recruiting is just as fast as reducing resistance. The only difference is then you actually go to recruit immediately after that without having to change it. So uh, that being said, today's episode is going to be all about getting a handle on things. We got spring in one day. Ooh, Slaughters has lost skill and obedience. Yeah, I opened these things up here to check this beforehand. Uh, I was actually thinking of putting Zev on crafting on a six, because now that we've lost Bagger Sage, we got one less person to do crafting, and it should probably be Zev. There's no one else really who can do it. Uh, with any kind of skill. He's not the best at it, only three, but still, we got three crafting benches. I really, really want to get some walls put in today and then finish off this research over here uh, for the improved defensive systems. I'd like to make some catapults so we can hold guys at the walls and then lob shells at him and whatnot. That would be really fun. Uh, however, hopefully we can survive that long, basically. Just, just got to hope for some luck. In any event, Misha's cleaning up here. Ooh, there's a random fox out there. Red Fox dead. Oh, there it is. Yep, that was the bug from before I was experiencing. I don't really understand what's going on with it. I can't move Cinnamon here and it's bouncing back and forth. No, do I really... I also installed the Search and Destroy mod for a request. I didn't originally put it in because I wanted to micromanage it. Um, now, how did I fix this before? It went away randomly. I'm just going to turn on the development mode and see if I can make it go away that way. Probably not. Probably just going to have a huge issue. No, it's not going away. Huh. Interesting. I used to have a, a weird problem like this in the vampire campaign. Oh, there we go. Wait, what the heck? Cinnamon, what do you do? Oh, there we go. Fixed. I don't I don't know. You know, it must have been something to do with the hauling priorities. Yeah, Misha's combining all the hauling stuff. Something must have just got bugged out when I copied over my um, whole separate install for RimWorld. Yes, yeah, Cinnamon just moved that over there. And now she's smoothing out the wall. Misha's smoothing out the walls as well. Look at that. We actually have double people smoothing walls. Hey, here's something we need. We need, uh, what is this stuff called? Coal chunks. Where the heck are they? That's all we've got. Let's haul that urgently. Let's get these things out of the way so Paul Dose can get in there a little bit easier. And then while I'm thinking of it, let's put him in a really comfortable Dwarven stool so he can sit there at that bench and mine all the live long day. It's kind of awkward that you would need that, but that's the way that it works. And then lastly, several people have mentioned in the comments, I need to expand my forbid riding area uh so we'll do that and then hopefully that takes care of animals getting stuck in there and then maybe also down here as well yeah that's all taken care of the hobbit hole however needs a little bit more fantastic all right i think that's basically everything from comments to catch up on you know what we don't need to go into colin's room we're done so let's just zoomy zoomy here and let things go for a little bit Whoa, rare thrombos, a small, what? That's not a small herd of rare thrombos, that's ginormous herd. I am really scared now. The next raid is going to be, oh, Muflo. Oh, I have an idea. 
So for a thrombos, a mega slot, double grizzly bears, but they're both male. So are both of ours. Tons of mufalos. Here's an idea. Which one is ours? Our mufalo is a male. Let's tame a female. So we have the option of breeding more in the future. We can get a little bit more wool that way if we wanted to. A little bit more milk, not that we particularly need it. And then we can go send a caravan out uh, with multiple mooflows to haul stuff back and whatnot. Zev, what are you working on over here? What are you What are you doing? Hanging out with someone? What the? What the? Zev and Marie are just hanging out in the lava pits for whatever reason. All right. Female chicken dwarfs over here are working on... Unfinished Steel Dwarf Lord Helm. Yeah, that makes some sense. Hey, here's an idea. There's a lot of shields in here we haven't given to people, so let's go through everyone who has a shield. And, ah, here we go. Cedric does not. Ooh, excellent shield. All right, we'll shift-click that on. You know what, Chicken Dwarf, you've made these shields. I reckon you should be able to equip one. Same deal over here. Fantastic with Zev. Marie, fantastic. That's the whole colony, except for Misha. How about this one? Cannot go here, cannot equip. Oh, no path, because she's forbidden from going out there. I see. Well, now that we're full on all of our mead here, as far as I can tell, all of our mead, all of our meals, they're basically got nothing to do. All they're doing in there is smoothing walls. Let's actually let them out. I think Cinnamon and Misha were both restricted in there. Yep, so you guys can go do whatever you need to do. Misha, do you want a, you want a, little, a little shield? A little tidy dwarven shield? Uh, no path, it says. Well, maybe it'll update when she's done smoothing that wall. Wearing camel hide pants. Yep, there we go. And now she can equip that after that. Fantastic. Okay, so Paldos is going to mine up some coal chunks. One thing we're actually completely out of here is steel. We're down to 102 steel, and we're going through it like crazy. And we don't have any iron anymore. We used it all for various things. Uh, Paldos will get around to mining more. So whoa, 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 whoa! A grizzly bear is hunting Titan for food? What? That is so unlikely. I just don't see that being the case. Relations with the Crown Town have reduced to 10. They'll reduce to 10 naturally over time. Who, where is Titan? There is Titan. Oh, someone got off. I can't believe a grizzly bear is hunting my war boar. Who's going to handle this? It's going to be me, friends. It's going to be me. Let's go mount the brigand. We'll learn that grizzly bear a thing or two. Oh, God. Actually, the grizzly bear is coming out pretty quick. Go, 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 go. Stabby, stabby, mithril. I will save you, Titan. Wreck the bear. Okay, Titan, you all right? Woo. He got a big scratch in his leg, but he's, he's fine. He's fine. Nice. Titan's biting. I'm biting. A rhinosaur is... Oh, no. Okay, grizzly bear revenge. We're fine. This is really bad. I cannot believe... Well, it's okay. It's okay. Each one of these is doing like... Wow! 10 out of 11 hit points on his hoof. Oh, God. No, Titan, I'll only break the... Oh! Woo! I done took care of that, friends. I done took care of it. That bear is getting hunted. Boy, that mithril sword, huh? It's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Someone go tend to Titan like yesterday. It looks like... Uh, Misha's on it. Yep. Fantastic. Grizzly bears have a 10%. Oh, that's because I was hunting. Yeah, it's fine. Thank you, Misha. We need that Titan taken care of. Titan was a little bit hungry there as well. But yep, the murder the bear. Nice job, Zev. Okay, uh, we're running out of a bunch of stoves here, or uh, wood for the stoves, like both of these furnaces, this furnace, that furnace, our stove, and these three fire boxes. That's what I mean to say. None of them have bricks. So let's grab all of these chunks. Cold chunks haul urgently. Get them to where they need to go. This is finally getting installed. You know what? Let's put in sandstone. There, there, and there. Rather than put the walls in there, we'll just make it smooth. We'll just, you know, I don't know, drag some rocks in and elongate the mountain. Be a much better setup for us, I feel. Nice. Look at those cold chunks. That's awesome. Animal starvation now. Spring has begun. Clug the mega sloth. Why is Clug starving? That's strange. Well, now that spring has begun, actually, let's let the animals out uh, into the animal springtime, summer zone. Because we're going to start planting. Oh, we've actually already started planting the hay grass. Well, there you go. 
So we'll let them out here, and they're going to be able to graze around. Let's take a look at what that zone entails exactly. Expand the animal summer zone. So they're not allowed to eat our heal root or our heal root down here, but they are basically allowed to go wherever they want uh, for the most part within the confines of the walls. We could make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, that looks actually pretty good. Over there, they can grab all those roots, these roots as well. Maybe some of these roots. Good. I like that. Uh, maybe a little bit more grass there. A little bit more up here as well. Sure, they can come down here and eat all that stuff. Whatever they want to do. And connect that up so they can go all the way around. Perfect. Well, we got a lot of work to do. The real question is, will we be ready for the next raid? I have no idea. Alma, are you doing researching? You're doing researching on a five. Before that, you're doing taming, plant cutting, growing. Uh, that's actually it. Hall corpses, we don't have any more. Alma should just be doing researching, like, constantly. Let's make sure in the morning. I want to get these defenses up and at them. Because after the last raid, we got all that mithril stuff and all that gear was dropped. I'm pretty sure we're pretty high up on the wealth indicators. Oh, you know what? I could just look. Yep, we sure are. Look at that. 153,000 wealth now. This is a conundrum, friends. We've had the same defenses for ages of empires. Now is the time to really get this going. Hey, speaking of, can I come over here and put in a, f a ceiling over this open? Is this even open? I'm not sure. Uh, either way... So make sure there's a roof area over the whole thing. I'm not sure if we need that or not, but right up to here. Fantastic. Right up to there. It should be good. Ooh, nice. We got the coal chunks down there. Let's copy. Good thing I noticed that because we would have hauled corpses over there. Copy these settings. Come over here to paste the settings. Paste the settings. Beautiful. All right. Is this indoors yet? Nope. Still outdoors. Nice. Look at that wall. Cedric's putting in the walls again. Fantastic. Marie's building them up. Yep. Elma successfully tamed a Muflo and named a Muflo 2. Welcome, Muflo 2, to the colony. Get into the zone, friend. Get into the zone. That's what I like to see. Should we get these guys tamed in obedience? Probably, because eventually... Ah, uh, not really, actually. Um, oh no. Are you guys going to come down here and eat all my trees? I hope not. All these giant crazies. They are eating a lot of trees, but they're all out in there. Boy, that's insane how much thrombos eat. Like, they eat like a tree every five seconds. When you And then the more later into the colony you get, the more of them show up and the more trees they eat. But it's not like you have a bigger map with more trees for them to eat. Huh. It's a weird balancing issue if you think about it. Looks like Misha and Cinnamon are hanging out together. All that forest time they've spent cleaning up in the kitchens and whatnot. They're like forced to hang out together as well in the kitchen. Uh, meanwhile, what am I up to? Taming, training brigands. All those is drinking mead. Yeah, well, it is happy fun time hour, so probably everybody's going to do that. Boy, that mead disappeared fast, huh? Like really fast. One of the things I'm a little bit concerned about is I don't see Misha and Cinnamon refueling all these things fast enough. And they're supposed to be doing that when they're inside. Let's get their refuel container. Cinnamon up to probably a three. Misha, where did you go? You're down here. Let's put you up to a three on that as well. We want to make sure everything is refueled at all times. <gasps> Salvador, get trained, friend. We need more polar bears. Oh, bloody hell. 46% fail. Ah, yep. There we go. One of the furnaces just got light. Mead's being delivered. Oh, this is just fantastic. Problem is, there's no drama. Like, everyone's having a... Wait, Clog, are you still starving? You still are starving? Severe... 78% malnutrition. Cannot train them. Why can't we go feed them? Cannot train animals sleeping. Uh, someone's got to go feed them. I know that I, at one point, could do that. Cannot mount, cannot train. Oh, you know what? I think he's actually capable of walking himself. But maybe if he gets a little bit worse... If I remember correctly, it's got to go up to, like, 80% or something before you can 
Forest feed. Yeah, there we go. Now it's extreme, so he can't move. So I should be able to go prioritize feeding Clug. What a weirdo, Clug. Just go outside and eat, you dope. How much does the full meal give him? I'm curious. So a full simple meal will barely feed. I'm already... F Am I doing it? I'm doing it again! I want to give him two simple meals. Oh, you're going to eat so much. I should probably get rid of these mango sloths, as cool as they look, once we get more boars. We should, we, uh, we should thin out the herd, because these things eat an insane amount. And they don't eat corpses either, which is not fantastic for us. Uh, now, another thing I wanted to do this episode, I looked at the tattered apparel. It's mostly the chest plates and socks. So I want to build this tailoring station over there, get rid of the socks at least. The chest plates are going to be a real conundrum because we got zero steel, zero iron, like pretty much anywhere. But we'll work on that soon. As soon as Paul Dose gets this cold chunk harvest up to like a thousand, which he's doing a really good job here. 775, 800. He's doing like 25 every few seconds. Nice. The springtime sowing is upon us, friends. Marie's out here. Alma. Oh, you know what, Alma? No, go to a research on a three, just temporarily. I want to finish defense, and then you can go help out with planting and whatnot. We really quite desperately need to make sure. Titan, are you fed? We need to make sure you're fed as well. Ye yes, you are. We don't want those little war boar pups getting injured. I'm out here sowing the crops as well. Fantastic. Oh, this is just beautiful. Springtime is just an amazing time. Look at all these boars that came over. We could kill all of that for meat if we wanted to. Not that I need to, because we got plenty. Raccoon meat has rotted away in storage. I'll, how, what's what's Colin, Colin doing over here? Eight. He's down to eight resistance. Ama oh, we got kibble incoming. I didn't even realize that was going to be a thing. Stock up for next winter. That We definitely needed that kibble this past winter for sure. Here comes our defensive systems, 360 out of 400. Almost done, Alma. Oh, he didn't quite finish. Maybe tomorrow, I guess. Oh, he's going to come up here and randomly grab a meal that was on the ground. Whoa, where did Major Breakers come from on Cinnamon? Cinnamon, what's the problem? Oh, divorced by Cedric. In one day, though, Cinnamon's going to get over it. Rat. By the way, this is a non-mounting zone, but you know what? Cinnamon just rolled through it to drop off, apparently, Titan or Utopia over there. Ravenously hungry, unsightly environment, ratty apparel. My f rival Bagger Sage died. Attended a party. And now she's just drinking milk? Oh, <gasps> we got no more meals! You know why? It's because we haven't had anyone restricted in here anymore. My, my priorities lists are set up fantastic as long as I have one cook restricted to the cooking zone. Otherwise, they just run around like maniacs, and I don't want to mess with the priorities, so we'll get Misha back here. Oh, no! A springtime cold snap? What a waste of... What a waste... Well, I guess the heel root won't die, but all the hay grass will. Ah. Embrasures, murder holes, and the medieval catapults. I think I want to go for advanced smithing now. I'm pretty sure. Uh-oh. Something just happened. What's this? Raid. Several separate groups of mountain doors from the kingdom under the mountain have arrived nearby that are attacking immediately. 20 of them. Dun, dun, dun. Do I want to do food storage? No, that's like that's the ice box. I've never actually played with the ice box. I think I want to do medieval smithing. Uh to finish off our pretty sweet looking forge. Another thing I could do is furniture, but we don't eh, I don't need that just yet. And that's looking good to me. All right, let's go. This cold snap, that's crazy. We got a cold snap and a raid almost at the same time. They appear to be unusually clever with their tactics. They'll avoid your turret's field of fire and notice some of your traps. Oh, wow. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They got twelve. Last time it was seven. Well, last time they had seven, five, and five. This time it's twelve. Three. One, two, three, four, five, and five. Twelve, three, and five. Hopefully, these guys come over here and get wrecked. Um, for right now, though, let's put all the animals back in the animal safety zone. And I know that when I do this... Oh, you know what I should do? Let's make this the auto policy. Great. Now, let's go make a new policy. We're going to rename 
the auto to default. Then we're gonna go rename policy one to raid. Fantastic. Now let's switch to the raid policy and we'll set everybody into animal safety zones as such. Fantastic. So then when I'm done with this, I can just immediately go back to default after the raid, if I can remember. Uh, now we'll pause and unpause. So now all the animals are set to come over here so I don't dismount them by mistake. And I want to get set up immediately. Zev, come down here and man that ballista. Marie, come down here and man the ballista. That's the first two things. Now, Chickendorf. Let's get you on alert, Mount Zera. Cedric on alert, Mount Brig. I'm just going to go uh, from left to right as I can see everything. Oh, Slars isn't even trained. Salvador is not trained. I don't think. Whoa, Clug's not... What? What happened? What? We're losing... We're losing all of our training. Where is all of our animals? Oh, God. Where did they all go? Seriously. Oh. Here's a bunch of them. Uh, let's let them come back then. Cinnamon, I know you're visiting the grave out there and that's really important to you, but... Oh, here they are. I couldn't see them. They were inside. What do you mean? Atlas isn't trained either? All right. Mount Titan then. At least somebody's going to do something. Cedric's over here. Let's run him down uh, to this location as soon as he's done. I feel like I'm missing at least a couple people here. Let's go through the animals this way, right? So Titan, we can definitely mount. Titan's getting mounted. Utopia, we can mount. Utopia's coming. You know what? Cinnamon, get you to mount and come over here and mount Utopia quickly. And then maybe zoom up to there, like, right away. It looks like most of these guys are coming over in that direction. And then Aloysius. Oh, Aloysius is down there. Let's get me to go mount Aloysius and come back up there. Uh, it's hard to see those bears. They're, like, camoed. Zera, I think we were mounting. Brigan, we were mounting. And then both of our Megas. No, Clug is definitely mountable. Thought that he wasn't for some reason. Chicken Dwarf's mounting. Cedric is moving to bring in. Alma's moving. Cinnamon's moving. Paul Dose, however, is not. So, Paul Dose, come up here. We need you to mount Clug. There we go. Now we're good. All right. Hopefully, this all works out. Cinnamon gets down there in time and runs back. I think they're attacking all at the same time. So, we're going to have to attack to the south, like right away. And then swing down. Oh, God. Oh, this is going to be a close one. Okay, Cinnamon is mounted down there. Run, Cinnamon. I'm trying to mount. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, that was bad. Aloysius got hit. Guys, come back here. Fantastic. Cinnamon's doing a good roundabout, keeping all these dwarves occupied. Oh, my, you almost here? You're moving, but you didn't mount Titan. Baldos is mounting up. Chicken Dwarf, you want to come down and help out? That's really awkward that Alma did not mount Titan. I must have screwed it up. Let's go mount Titan here and then zoomy zoomy right, right straight back. Now as I come up in this direction, ooh, there's the ballista shots. Zev Marie, handle it. Handle. What's the timer here? Five seconds, two seconds. Let's get me over there. Cedric over here, fantastic. Chicken Dwarf over there. Come on, guys. Fire. Chicken Dwarf, get closer. Ooh, speaking of fire, there's a fire. These guys are lighting my hay fields on fire while Cinnamon's out there doping about. Not much we can do about it. Maybe Paul Dose can move over there to help out quickly. And then Alma, once you come up here and mount. Oh, Mori, by the way, just got hit by one of them. Right lung destroyed torso. 34 damage out of 40. Ooh, that was Marie's shot. Zev, aim, aim, aim. Fire! Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, guys. Let's get all of us here. Search and destroy. Attack. Mori. Fantastic. Chicken Dwarf. Same deal. Attack. Mori. Go. Get that Mori on the ground. Hitting him in the back. Beautiful. Beautiful. Take him down. All you guys search and destroy over here. Let's get Zev and Marie. Uh, actually, it looks like we got people coming up from the north now. Let's get them to charge up in that direction. Cinnamon's attacking Strolly by herself. Alma and Paul Dose. Let's do the search and destroy up here and attack. Cinnamon, can you handle Strolly by yourself? That's a really good question. So far, yeah, you just got to cut. He, however, is a lot more to worse off. I don't like those fires. Nothing I can do about it, though. How are we doing over here? A Tauris seems to be making a defensive position, but we're oh, we're on top of it. That that raid is actually dead. Nice, because Cinnamon took care of Strolly up here by herself. Fantastic. Cinnamon, Alma, and Paul Dose. 
We need the three of you guys to come up here and attack Hildis immediately. Three of us charge up here and get ready to defend the other direction. Not going to worry about that fire right now. I don't think it's too big of a deal. I'm a little worried about Cinnamon. Nah, she's all right. <laughs> Reckon. All right, you guys take out Gallon here. The reason I didn't use this search and destroy mod before is because I wanted to micromanage. Um, and I no longer do. Because I've got too many dwarves. I wanted to micromanage the fights when I only had like, it was like 4v4. But now it's like 10 million versus 10 million all the time. So we're going we're gonna to have to have some auto attacks a lot of the time. Now we got 12 people coming in over here. One of them looked like they stepped on a trap, but that is it. So hopefully Marie's going to mount up here. Get a, oh, Tiss is now fleeing, which is fantastic. It looks like we took care of this. However, are we still fighting? Because one of them was over there fleeing. We may have engaged him. No, we, look at that. Set him. It's like, get him. Stabbed him one more time while he was on the ground. Blue fur, long beard, dwarf chain coat. Fascinating. Fascinating. We don't really need that, though. Okay, so, so far so good. Things are coming along. Let's get all you guys charging over there a little bit. Buy some time for... Oh, Zev, are you all right? Zev got a big cut in his right leg, actually, and Florin is making his way in. Looks like now is the time to get in there. We don't really have time. Let's go after Barrenburr. Okay, you guys need to come in from down here now as well. Yeah, this is going to be an all-out Dwarfathon, I suppose. Or... All out melee a thon is what I should say. Operating turret can fight her in six seconds. Operating turret. There's the turret. Aim. Fire. Ooh, Glofer. Glofer just got his right arm cut off. Nice work, Marie. You're going to have to defend yourself, though, like right now, unless Siege can put some of these guys on the grounds. Marie, run away. You know what? Go into melee mode. Take out the Baron Burr. This is actually pretty cool. These guys are splitting up a little bit. What a fun little fight this is. Woo, Batterin Butter's down. And you guys are just going to go into auto melee like crazy, crazy. Zev, get into the search and destroy. Marie, search and destroy. Yeah, Cinnamon, search and destroy. That was the problem. Every time the target went down, Cinnamon wasn't doing that. I like to group up uh, rather than fight one-on-one -on -one because this is very dangerous. These guys do have axes that are strong and serious. Colonist needs rescue now. Chicken Dwarf is on. Oh, please, Chicken Dwarf, don't loss an arm. Whoo. Left shoulder, almost. Left arm, almost. Torso, almost. How many raiders remain right now? Eight left, one left, one left. So we need to kill two more. Looks like if we come down here, we got Florin and Damron. If we can avoid Cinnamon getting hit. Thimber over here is a pretty fast-looking dwarf. Look at that guy. Looks like a ghost dwarf. What a maniac. These guys look incredible. Come on, guys. Nice. There goes one. Haygrass has died because of cold. Cinnamon, we need you to come inside. You're a little bit too wounded. Just come inside. Let someone else take the beating for a little bit. Uh, go after... Once we take down Gallon, I think they all tootle. Gallon or Florin. How many remain? Seven. Pretty sure there were six. Zev, you doing all right, buddy? Zev is actually taking a beating right now. Quite frankly, I'm not sure he should be because of that cut in the right leg. Hopefully he doesn't get hit in the right leg again. Nice! There we go. They're all fleeing. Come on, guys. Let them flee. Don't don't take any unnecessary wounds. Okay, never mind that. We got to take out Gallon here because he's he's fleeing right into us. Fantastic. I think we're... Are we, are we just wrecking him while he's on the ground? Now, before we chase these guys down, let's check what their gear is if there's anything we want. So iron, iron, thimbutter, iron, iron, thrum thrumbo for a long beater to dwarf chain coat. Boy, is that good or bad? I'm not even sure. Camel hide, long beater to nah. None of these things seem all that necessary. We're not going to capture Tiss. He's on his way out. Mori, nah, you got nothing we really want. Okay, so my plan here is everybody dismount. Uh, and then let's get the animals immediately back to the default policy. Ooh, a lot of animals took a lot of wounds there. Let's check the medical tab on animals. Yeah, they're okay. Just small wounds. Let's check cinnamon. Cinnamon just has a bruise. Chicken dwarf, serious, serious. He's actually down. And Zev, 21 hours. Misha, could you wake up and come over here and rescue Chicken Dwarf the blacksmith? You guys need to stop this. Alert, unalert. Like, we do not need to do this. Paul does. Paul does is just the blood fiend maniac riding a mega sloth out there with a mithril sword. Look at that. Look at that. Paul does. Guys, forget about it. Forget about it. It's not necessary. 
For, I know you all want to go after him, like, really bad, right? Just forget about it. And off alert. There we go. Now, you should be going to put out fighters and whatnot. Now, we could strip Gallon over here. Or, alternatively, his right foot was turned off. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're, his foot's missing, but he loves the melee, and he loves mining, and he loves construction. He loves medicals, animals, crafting. He loves everything. He's a dwarf miner. We can't not get him, friends. He's too good. Even with no foot, we'll give him a peg leg. He can walk. He can ride an animal to work every day and then mine all the live long day. That is too good. That is too good of a colonist right there. Let's get Alma over here uh, to capture a gallon. What a fantastic capture that's going to be. Misha's taking care over there. Good. Zev, you're beating out a fighter. What you actually need to do... Let's make this medical really quick. So I, you know what I haven't done yet is make a medical room. We're kind of trying to work on that, but it's been, it's been a slow going process. Uh, Misha, nice. She's taking care of Chicken Dwarf. Death in five hours. We'll be fine on that front. Once the fires are out, we should probably take care of everyone else. We can actually shut this off of medical, but someone working on Zev over here. He's got a big gash in his leg. Yep, Chicken Dwarf's all patched. Animals getting patched. No one's actually working on Zev. Let's go tend to Zev with Misha by priority. Cedric's working on taking care of all the animals. Let's take a look at the medical tab. They are almost taking care of Aloysius. Bring in Utopia. Can we prioritize cleaning up this room, actually? Just clean the whole room with Cedric, because I don't want any infections in there. There's probably a ton of blood and dirt, too. Oh, I forgot about the cold snap. Misha's gotten food poison. Oh! She hasn't cooked anything in forever! Oh, bloody hell. Maybe I should restrict cinnamon to the filthy hobbitses again to make sure that these guys get things done. There's plenty of food in there. They just haven't gotten around to doing it. All right. Now we're running the risk of... Oh, no. I gotta take a break here. All right. Had a quick call, and now I'm a little bit distracted. However, I do think I was looking at Gallon over here. Making sure that he's fed. Blood loss extreme. His food is getting low, but it's not too low. We actually don't have any food. 64%, 23 resistance. Awesome. Let's go straight into recruit. Cannot wait to get him in the fray. How's all our animals doing in the medical tab? Still got a couple of wounds over there. We should probably actually have Misha come up here. I'm not sure. 10 to Utopia. Who was the next one? Aloysius. Uh, so, Amisha, as soon as you're done, come over there, attend to Aloysius as well. And then if you wouldn't mind, could you actually zoom over there and clean that room really quick? It's kind of important because we don't want this dwarf, this gallon dwarf over here, uh, getting any infections and thus getting knocked out and killed because of his extreme blood loss. Nice. There's Utopia. There's Aloysius. Cinnamon, what are you up to? You're not even awake. Nobody's got anything to eat in this town, which is unfortunate, but eh, we'll take care of it, I think, automatically. Moods are super low. As always, the worst part of any raid is the aftermath immediately, immediately following, like, the massive amount of slaughter and death and destruction and dirt everywhere. Chicken Dwarf is no longer capable of walking. Cinnamon is fully healed. Fantastic. She's working on the alcohol. Just filling it back up. That's important. Now that she's... Oh, oh, whoa, whoa! What the? What the? Colin went berserk? Why did he go berserk? Apparently, Baldos was in the room for some reason. Instantly chopped his head off. What the heck? Baldos is demanding to be the only miner in the colony, friends. He's going to have none of that. No more miners. Wow. Right, right, literally right through the neck. I didn't even get to see why he went berserk. What the? Colin and struggle of a conversation. Misha came in to clean the room. I actually was trying to stay ahead of things here to keep everything nice and clean. Colin had a conversation about fine foods with Misha. He's like, oh, please cook me a fine food, Misha. And then... Immediately, Colin hit Misha with a strike from his right fist. Wow. And Baldos was like, that's it. Off of your head. Slice Colin with a dwarf sword's edge. Missing a neck caused Colin to give into his wounds. 
<laughs> yes, that would do it. Well then. Apparently, Paul Dos, despite the fact that he didn't want to marry Misha or whatever it was, you know, he still he still likes he still he's gonna defend the little hobbit. This is our hobbit. Also, he wants to defend his his like crown of the best miner in all the town. But good lord, was that ridiculous? Let's get rid of this thing over here. Deconstruct Misha while you're there. You were cleaning up that room. Just come over here and capture again into the bed. Can you do that right there? Quick capture. No. Un no reachable, unreserved, enclosed prisoner marked bed in safe temperature. That is literally right next to her. Right next. Okay, well, maybe it needs to be updated because Colin. <laughs> poor guy. <laughs> oh my lord, that poor guy. Uh, how's his knee? He's, his food's so low that if you don't take care of this. Oma, can you come over and capture? Yeah, now we can do it. Probably just needed to reset the bed or something, I'm not sure. Let's also come over here and prioritize feeding him. It's going to be just like a, a raw meal or whatever. Some raw meat. He'll have to live with it for now. Now, let's check out what Misha's up to. She's walking really slow for some reason. Oh, food poisoning major. That would be why. How about cinnamon over here? She's cleaning up the base, which is great. We're eating raw meat over here. Raw meat and ale. It's fine for a dwarf, if you ask me. Cinnamon's still cleaning up. As soon as that's done, which is what we want because we don't want any more food poisoning. Then she should start cooking because there's no more mead to be made and she's not allowed out of here. Oh, she's going to have a little beer here with Misha while she eats the raw meat. Cleaning up a little bit more. There's a turkey. And... Boy, there was a lot to clean, huh? <laughs> there's just a lot to clean in that place. Now, yep, she is indeed starting to cook. Took a while. Everyone's going to be mad about eating raw meals, but it won't be too bad, I don't think. There we go. There's the meals. By the way, why do I still make... Ins I wanted to make... F Let's make fine meals, honestly. Let's drop these simple meals down to... Um, let's say... Just kind of like a bonus... Like, there'll be like a bonus 10 meals. You know what? Let's not even bother. As long as we have both ingredients... Actually, cancel that completely. Make it back to the 50 that it was. We'll pause at like 30. Fantastic. Done. But let's actually suspend it. This one over here, do until X. Drop on the floor. Uh, we're going to make this 50 fine meals. Drop the ingredient radius pretty low so we don't run around like maniacs. Fantastic. And then we'll pause this one at, let's say, 30. Awesome. That'll be much better. Yes. Now everyone will be a lot happier. And this place is all clean, taken care of. All right. Medical emergency on Gallon. Did he get his food? He did. He's all taken care of. Well, so much for my ideal goal of having two additional miners. <laughs> How the heck was Paul Dose just happening to be in there at the right time? Maybe the, maybe Misha was, like, rejecting. Right? Maybe when Colin was like, hey, Misha, can you make me a fine meal? Misha was like, go to hell, you stupid dwarf. I'll cook you right up if you don't shut your mouth. And then as a result of that... He decided to smack Misha in the face, and then, wouldn't you know, Paul Dose happened, happened to be right there with a stabby stabby right behind his back. Don't you know. Don't you know. Anyway, 98, 99, all of this stuff is actually relatively good. Let's come over here and unforbid, like, all of it. Kind of move it to where it needs to go. This stuff isn't bad either. Unforbid, unforbid. And a little bit of stuff down. All of our corpses are already hauled. That's just beautiful to see the colony in action. Everything getting taken care of perfectly. These corpses are getting eaten up by all the boars. You know what? I'm fine with that. Uh, ooh, yes! Fine meals on the table now. A little bit of Dorovan mead. Compulsion on Alma. Excessively cleaning because Alma's seen too many corpses. That makes some sense, Alma. No, no one's going to fault you for that. You clean all you want, friend. And then by tomorrow, everyone will forget the fact that they had to eat raw meat for a day, I think. Is that right? Intense pain, ate raw food. It lasts for about a day. Observe corpse that lasts for six hours. This will all be gone while they sleep the night. Unsightly environment, that'll probably be gone tomorrow. Because Well, except for Misha throwing up all over her fine meal and then eating it anyway. You know, when you're a Dwarven cook, you, you, know, you know, learn not to waste your meals. What does she do? What the? What the? What is she doing? Oh, she's star. I thought she was sleeping out there. She's just stargazing for a mood bonus. That's not bad at all, actually. Let's let her do it. Yes, moods are coming right back up. This intense pain on Chicken Dwarf is pretty bad here. 
but he'll be fine. He'll recover. 11 out of 30, 20 out of 30. We need better armors to keep our arms. Armor? Is that why they're called armors? So you keep your arms? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> That's my guess. Nice! Cinnamon just crafting fine meals. Misha throwing him down there like a maniac, keeping things clean. Now we're back in the thick of things. Antisocial and Marie! Because she was in darkness. Well, why the heck is she in darkness? By the way, apparently all our they skipped all of our traps. Because those guys were clever. So we barely had to even make any new ones. Okay, that's fine. Titan's fully healed. Let's take a look here. I did select smithing. Yes, I did. It's in progress. Alma's um, on a mental break right now. Cleaning, though, which is fine. Cinnamon's got the whole base under control. We got a thousand coal, but I'm really wondering if we've got enough down here. Kind of thinking we don't. By the way, I'm thinking of moving this. Can we reinstall this down here and then build another one of these things? The reason being uh, that I have 50 meals queued up and we only have space for 40. So that means 10 of them are going to go into this overflow bin, which is going to be really awkward, and I don't want that. Alma stopped compulsively tidying his surroundings. Look at this fleet of animals down here eating up the corpses. All right, guys, you have at it. By the way, did I switch my animals back? I did to the default, so they're all good to go. Yeah, we still have one, two, three more things to train, but that's not too bad. I'm working on it. Haul all these bricks, these cold chunks urgently so they get where they need to. Yeah, actually, most of these are good. This zone up here, amazingly, cold snap. Did all of it die? No! We had a... Well, I guess it's fine because it's summer, but the cold snap actually killed all of our stuffs because the fires went out because no one, no one was refueling. Cedric should be doing that. You know what? Let's bump that up to a two. It's going to mean that he does it like way more higher priority than we would like but it's important, I think. This Spellopede is down to three out of 100. That's been there since like episode two or something insane. Oh, this roof got put in. It looks really boring now. All the grass is gone and the sun is gone. I miss it. <gasps> Manhunter pack. Manhunting mega, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. What is with this, this episode? We get a cold snap, we get a dwarven raid, and we get a man hunting mega sloth pack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mega sloths. That's actually like not a joke. That's not gonna be easy unless I can hit him with all my ballistas, and I've only got two ballistas. I think I need more ballistas. I need to expand the bases out and build like a ton more ballistas. Oh, that's right. I can now build um What the heck is this stuff? Murder hole. 35 iron. And 65 wood. Turret deals 15... What do you mean turret? Oh, it's an automated turret. Deals 15 damage. Firebomb must be manned. So you man it, and I, I'm not sure how it works exactly. Ammo. Quick line pitch. Oh, I remember that. I don't know how to make it, though. Beauty, negative 15. Clean, negative 10. A storage chute that ejects boiling oil. And a contaminated burning wick. The proper term of such a device is a... Macacolation. However, murder hole simply sounds more fun. Must be manned. Didn't it say that twice? Silver murder hole? Golden murder hole? Wooden. Sandstone. Sandstone murder hole takes 65 sandstone blocks and 35 iron. Holy, that's not even cheap. So I'm guessing you put it. How exactly does it work? Are you supposed to shoot this through. Is it like a wall? Or no, I imagine people can just walk up there and blow it up. Right? So we probably need to have have it close here and then additionally have more Keltrops to slow people down, maybe? How's this fire pot trap work? This is one explosive pot and four quick line pitch. Trap, 10 damage. An explosive fire pot that uses a simple flint and pressure trigger me mechanism. So this is kind of like a bomb people can step on. But I need to make all this stuff. I don't know how to do that. What is it? Explosive pot, quick lime. This is more quick lime. Ammo, quick lime. Uh, how about the catapult? This is a hundred. You can only make one. Ooh. You can only make ooh, 150 wood, 75 iron. Turret. Damage 25. Firebomb must be manned. Ammo, explosive pot. Wow. 
a catapult that launches explosive incendiary shells. So this is what I want. I'm not, I can't really see what the range is, so I'm guessing it's ridiculous. Uh, it doesn't actually say the range here to work to build 112. I want to, I want to start making these things and put the walls up and then launch explosive pots over the walls at them. The thing is, though, don't I need like a crafting bench? We've got this old tailor bench. We've got three stone cutting benches. I have yet to make a medieval crafting station. That's the next thing on the list. We've got one right there. Ooh, we're gonna need to mine that out someday. But today is probably not the day for that. Uh, maybe I'll just throw, you know what? We have all the light over here. I'll just throw it like right here. So we're definitely gonna need to get that thing made. The other thing made, we're gonna have to make all of this weird explosive trap stuff. On the plus note, we did get coal everywhere. So we should be charged up. All the lamps are back on. Our meals are getting made. Everything's clean. We survived a raid. Uh, we lost one miner and gained another one, but pretty pretty sure this guy's even better than the last one. Polyamorous. Doesn't mind having multiple partners and a night owl. The only thing he can't do is plant work, but boy, he loves the ma- He just loves ev- He loves everything, guys. Everything. Except for art. <laughs> uh, and being smart. This is going to be a fantastic minor melee, if you ask me. Even the crafting, like a backup crafting, when if we ever get around to doing that. This guy's an absolute champion. I'm wondering, what happened to Callan, was it? Colin? Colin is what, who it was. So compare this character to that one. Yeah. Yeah, so Colin here didn't like melee at all. He loved cooking, but we already had two cooks. He liked plants a lot, which would have been okay. But he is a staggeringly ugly misogynist. However, he would have done a lot of work because he would have been a quick sleeper. Uh, it could have helped on the animals. He also liked medical. But basically, they both have a 10 in mining, except the other guy... Uh, who is it? Gallon up here has a... 9 and a super passion in melee, and he also has a super passion in medical, which is fantastic. Can't do plant work, though, but whatever. Whatever, I would have liked to have both of them. Because I, what I want to do is just get like three people mining this this universe. Just boom, mine the universe, like get it done. Uh, however, we're kind of a far ways away from that. What is this? Oh, that's a fighter box, I see. Cedric, what are you up to? You're refueling the fighter box to give some light to Paul Dose, who's no longer in there. Well, better late than never, right? Uh, do I want to do this? No, I think it's been already over 45 minutes. So, when's we returning? The ginormous... Mega Sloth Invasion, which believe it or not, is going to be mildly challenging because they take a lot of hits and all we are is dwarves who only melee. I mean, we do have the ballistas at least, but I need to seriously consider defenses in the next episode. Um, you know what else is really unfortunate down here about Colin? Is that we probably had his resistance down to zero after all that time. <laughs> uh, and then he was immediately immediately just, just straight up decapitated by Paul Dose. What a ruthless, brutal, savage Paul Dose. Anyways, uh, until the future, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Just filling it back up, that's important. Now that she, oh, oh, whoa, whoa! What the? What the? Colin went berserk? Why did he go berserk? Apparently, Paul Dose was in the room for some reason. Instantly chopped his head off. What the heck?